Hello, hello. Happy Sunday. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy National Handbag Day. How fitting that this year it falls on a Sunday so we can kind of incorporate it into Feed Your Addiction. Go ahead and hit the thumbs up. Happy Sunday, DJ King. Hi, Military Mom, Miss Angie, the Closet Dive. Hey, Rosalind, hey, welcome, happy Sunday. So listen, I am going to start with doing something that I almost talked myself out of doing because um, I may be semi-embarrassed. Hello, Lucinda, happy Sunday. Semi-embarrassed to show you this bag again. Y'all, I moved into that try what is it polo try bag that i haul from amazon hi dawn happy sunday welcome i i moved into that and then i spent i spent three of the last four weeks in nashville because my mom um had an accident that resulted in surgery She's back on the road um, mending well. But in the weeks that I was between Atlanta and Nashville, particularly with her um, pre and post-op appointments and all of that other stuff, I needed a good bag that I could literally throw my stuff in, work stuff that I needed on the go, her stuff, because, you know, for every doctor's appointment, they want you to bring your medications and, you know, all of the paperwork and all this other stuff. So I needed a workhorse bag. And I wanted something that was not going to already be three pounds heavy before I put anything in it. And I ended up in this. And I have gotten so many compliments on this bag I literally was in Walmart one morning picking up a prescription and I'd wandered into some other areas of the store and I was actually looking at Thermalware and um, the sales associate that was sitting at the dressing room, I guess kind of answering the phones in the morning, she flagged me down and she was like, your bag is absolutely gorgeous. And I've, this was an older lady, but I have had young, like teen tweens to stop me and compliment me on my bag to the age groups that are represented on this channel to seniors. So I think that this is a really good bag. Y'all, I'm going to show y'all how much I've loved this bag. It has been in pre-op, post-op. It has been hanging on the edge of uh, chairs, on wheelchairs. It has been sitting in lobbies. It has been in, on the back seat of the car. It has been in the floorboard. It has been in the trunk. It has had my work laptop in it and my chargers and my... Um, mouse it's had my work notepads it's had my mom's bag that she travels with to keep her medication it has had everything in it and although i semi moved out of this bag earlier today to move into something believe it or not pink for breast, breast cancer awareness i at least wanted to show you like all the crap that I still have in here, I moved into a much smaller bag and I am going to film that because I think it warrants a more in-depth view of what I would carry or what I'm currently carrying in a small bag. But I need it for you to see like everything. And this is again, none of my work stuff is in here right now. None of my mom's stuff. Well, her hospital her follow-up appointment cards and discharge instructions are still in here. But y'all, I got, I've lost count of how many masks and different kinds of masks and Purell wipes 
and I think oh, I've got some individual Clorox wipes in here, my new AAA card information, my notebook for notes on the go, um, Cottonelle flushable wipes, a little travel packs, snacks, because um, between appointments with my mom, between Oreos and Rice Krispie Treats, we kind of lived on those, more masks a brush. I use this as my wallet. I'm in a just a card case now with cards and stuff still in here. So this is still functioning as a wallet, but I am going to fully move out. More KN95 masks. My mom is notorious for leaving the house and getting in the car. And I think it's because the crutch of me being there is like, I need a mask. <laughs> So that's the reason I have, okay, so I have my blue light filter glasses. You've seen my regular uh, COVID pack, sunglasses, Henry Bendel, gum, hand sanitizer, more face masks, toothpicks, hand sanitizer, Catch all wet ones, more Oreos. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna kind of dump all that right there. Um, Rice Krispie treats, pin pouch. Yeah, that's the actual AAA envelope. My stop at my favorite cookware stop. I think I've been there three times in the last three weeks. Poopery. Some hand salve from Mac. Rice Krispie Treats. Oreos. I call this my COVID dollar because I found it in the floor at Costco. I'm sure it was probably some little kid that dropped it. But it's mine now. I've got um, pins and a ton of these little on-the-go Purell packs in here. More masks that have gotten loose. Josie Marin um, Argan Infinity. More masks. Receipts. Pill pouch, my coin cat, uh, pack, receipts, receipt, more hand sanitizer, another mask, hand sanitizer, and on top of all of that, I had her medication in here um, the morning of her procedure, my laptop and all of its accessories, two phones, chargers, headphones, folders from pre and post-op because we had to take those with like pre-admittance paperwork and all that stuff. Y'all, y'all see how dirty this bag is? That's how you know it, it has been used. This was the best $40 spend for me this year from Amazon for non-houseware stuff. You see how dirty that is? You can see it now. This, that, I'm going to get another one. I'm going to get a red one and then I think I will be at peace. I am going to um, get my spot cleaner and get this cleaned up. And um, it's going to be ready for the next round. I did not think that I was going to enjoy this bag as much as I did. I hoped that I would. And I've seen it out. So there was, you know, kind of the hunt to try to find the bag, the brand. Then got it here. And it's neoprene. Did not want to give Neiman Marcus $350 for the one that they had. 
and I am more than pleased. And even my mom said, you should probably go back on Amazon and leave a review, she says, because you don't usually stay in your bags that long, particularly when I'm traveling back and forth to Nashville. I will switch it up in a minute to make sure I've got a good travel bag. It has not crossed my mind. I am so hot. I, it did not cross my mind to move out of this bag in all of that back and forth. And I think part of the reason I haven't fully moved out of it is because, of course, I'm going back to Nashville and it, it works. I'm already packed for like doctor's appointments and now I'm going to go back and get everything reorganized. Maybe. But I love it. Absolutely love it. All right. So I feel like I'm having a hot flash under these lights tonight. Okay, so National Handbag Day. One, I love that one. That's like $40, budget friendly, everybody friendly, tons of colors, very lightweight, heavy duty. Um, the straps are so comfortable. Even with all of the weight that I have been carrying around in that bag, it did not feel like a three pound Florentine bag plus how many ever pounds of crap that I have been carrying around. So if you're looking for a good travel bag, maybe a good teacher bag, if you are looking for a yoga or Pilates bag, um, it'd be a good bag for a student that's maybe back on campus. That's a, it's a really good bag. It's a good option. Very inexpensive, easy maintenance. I have I have no concerns about getting the wear off of the side of that bag. All right. So National Handbag Day. And um, when I sent the um, the text message earlier today um, to one of the group, uh, Kimberly Mines responded back and said, Something to the effect of, we celebrate that every day. And I was like, we absolutely do. We do not need a special occasion around these parts to celebrate um, the purchase or, uh, or an acquisition of a, of a new handbag. But that being said, um, I purchased a couple of things a few weeks ago back during the uh, what Tory Burch private sale. And I hadn't necessarily been here on a couple of sat, uh, Sundays in order to film that so we're gonna do it live tonight um, but the first thing is from Tori Birch this is actually a pair of shoes and I had the um, Miller sandals I've showed them on my channel I just got those not too long ago they have been in tow with me back and forth to Nashville and they have been amazing. So I am excited to become reacquainted with my purchases. I don't think I purchased another pair of Millers. I don't think they were included in the sale. Um, but I have been pleased with the wear and the comfort. So we are going to get into it with this pair which is the tiny Miller slide in calf leather in the color, um, what is the color on here? I think they're brown. And I'm sure they have some fancy name for them. All right, so dust bag, dust cover, shoe bag, whatever you wanna call it. And here we go. So these are the Tiny Millers. And they are a slide in more of a saddle, Timoro, chestnut brown color here. And they have... A little mini um, 
T's or the emblem kind of cross the vamp and then a slide and then a toe loop. And they do have a little bit of a lift here on the back just so that they're not so flat because the regular Millers don't have that lift. They are just, they're basically a flip-flop. They're pretty flat. So that, um, I like these. I did size up. I got them in a size 11. I'm regularly a size 10, but all, for the most part, all of the reviews said that these are, um, they're cut small. I love the fact that they have both the square toe and the square heel. I've said it a million times on my channel, my toes do not like each other, so they need space to be able to spread out, and these give um, that ability, I'm, I'm sure, between the size um, upgrade and the fact that they have the square vamp. So it is still like 80 plus degrees here um, in Atlanta, so I am sure that before, um, probably, before the end of this week, I will have an opportunity to wear these because it's still hot here. It's still very hot. All right, so that is the first item. And honestly, you know what? I don't know if I bought a bag to go with these or if I just picked up a neutral Color. Let's see if I can get that back up here. Probably not. Okay. So then I did, um, I kind of split this haul in two because I have another pair of shoes that I purchased during the private sale. And then there are also two more um, bags, but we're only going to do half of it tonight. So if you have not already hit the thumbs up, I would kindly ask that you do so. Introduce yourself to somebody in the chat that you have not had a chance to speak to tonight. And if you are watching in stealth mode, what better day to get involved in the chat than on National Handbag Day? I mean, that's why we're all here together. So step outside of your comfort zone. Say hi. Let us know that you're in the chat. And in the meantime, I'm going to say that there are not too many handbag brands that have packaging and shipping that rival Tory Burch. They did an absolutely amazing job. Now, that being said, their distribution center is about 50 miles south of where I live. So I had really high expectations um, around their shipping anyway. Um, but it is still COVID, so it took a little time for it to get here. But all in all, from order to delivery, it was still within seven calendar days. So I'm not complaining about that. Everything was, there was like, the, back, the box was completely intact. Um, I ended up getting two boxes. Each box had one pair of shoes in it and two bags. More than enough space um, and packaging to secure the packaging from not, you know, not bumping around and getting destroyed. And there were, um, there was the thank you cards, the receipts, all of that was in the box. And inside of their shipping bag or gift wrap, whatever you want to call it, each of the bags was inside of its dust cover. And let's see. All right. So the first thing I want to say is that I'm going to send... Two people to the enabler corner. So one of those is none other than Candy Crusher because um, we were shopping buddies throughout the entire private sale. And I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, but we enjoyed it and we were calling and texting 
all times of the day and night as the site updated. So I enjoyed my shopping time with Candy Crusher. And then the other is Shani Cole because um, this bag color, so the color, not the bag, but the color she put on my radar, which is the tiramisu because I thought that it would make for a great neutral. So this is my McGraw tote in the color tiramisu from Tory Burch. Again, picked it up during the private sale. It is a pebbled textured leather. Let me get it a little closer so you can see the texture there in the leather. It is evenly pebbled. No feet under the bottom, but I do like the way that the bottom is finished. I'm not sure if that's going to sag or not. There doesn't feel to be like there's any reinforcement or support in the bottom of the bag. And the um, stitch work, of course, is consistent front to back. It has the uh, double T logo on the front. that and even with the stitching here on the back if you look at it there's a T there and there's a T there love the details on the hard on the um, leather this bag has no hardware with the exception of the closure which is a little bit of um, So here's the inside of the bag. Love the fact that it is not black. One pocket in the back. So it's going to rival some of like maybe your coach totes or some of the other um, maybe your long shops and uh, MCMs. So pretty basic. One pocket from an organization standpoint, and that's it. It does have a pretty generous base. It's got a nice size butt on it. I think the base on this one is like five or maybe five and a quarter. So it I shouldn't have any problems getting all of my items in here. I um, it did not appear. It does not appear that because my hardware is wrapped that anything here was like a return or anything, which is music to my ears. There's the hardware for the bag. <clears throat> but the private sale is no returns. So if you have a tendency to buy and explore and then make a decision, this is not the sale for you to shop. It has a passable shoulder drop, and I love the color. Neutral, I do think that bottom is going to sag just a little bit unless I use my bag organizer. But I was really, really excited about this color. I did not find or pull the trigger when... The Fleming and the, I'm trying to think, I don't think it was Kira. I don't think Kira was available in Tiramisu. I think it was just Fleming. Somebody correct me down in the comments if I got that wrong. Um, but I was really excited about the color. I did go in store and took a look at the mousse color. But I kind of, between the two, this one really was my preference. So I am thankful that Shani Cole put this one on my radar because otherwise I've seen the mousse and it was a little too brown for me. And I like, I like this one. Okay, let's talk a little bit because when, when I 
first decided to pull the trigger, I only did two bags because, or two of this style bag. I did get a different color because I wasn't sure if they were going to end up being like the coach totes. Because y'all know I kind of fell completely in love and out of love with those in a matter of months because they just didn't hold up. But let me show you what I'm liking about Tory Burch. Now, you know, I'll run it through the ringer and see how it fares. And if it doesn't, I'll definitely come back and let you know. But here's what I'm immediately noticing. So one, the stitch work on the Tory Burch bags, this bag is way better than the stitch work on my coach totes. And I'm talking about the retail ones that I returned and the ones that I picked up that were retail that I picked up at the outlet. This is better. The other thing is this leather has a little bit of weight to it with it being pebbled. And it is suede lined, so there's a little bit more structure and weight to this. And that's going to help, I think, with the wear of the bag. And so that, you know, sometimes if you get like a dent or a wrinkle in some of the coach bags, it, particularly um, some of the leathers that are thinner or more in line with Safiano, once you get those creases or wrinkles in there, it's done. It's like permanently set. I don't think that this is going to do that. One, because it's pebbled leather, so it's got different leather properties, but also because of the suede lining on the interior. See that? And this already has a little bit more thickness to it than the side or the top profile of my coach bag. So I'm gonna see how it wears and I will let you know what I decide if I will be taking the plunge into other Tory purchases. And there is that pocket. Um, I think this is probably gonna be too big. Yep, too big. And I don't know that I have any other accessories close by. Yeah, that's one too. All right, well, that's it for this one. And then the next one, I don't know. It could be the other one of this one. I don't know. It's been a minute. But again, very pleased with the way it shipped. And although this has not been sitting for a year, like some of my pandemic purchases that I pulled out and have shared with you that have dings and dents, and had I taken a look at them sooner, I probably would have returned them. Um, but this one has also been sitting now for probably two months. I think it's been that long since the... Um, private sale and based on the shipping and you know them just sitting waiting for their turn on feed your addiction no no issues so here we go that the shoulder drop barely barely passes but that's all I need is for it to barely pass so that I don't have to thread it up my arm in order to get it on my shoulder. So there we go with that one. All right, so the next one, I wonder if I would have been able to last a couple of weeks in this one back and forth in Nashville. I know what I couldn't have gotten in there and that's all the stuff that I had. So it'll be a good everyday Tote, it may even be good for travel, but I don't know that it would be the workhorse that I've needed for the last couple of weeks. All right, so here we go with the next one. Similar or the same packaging. I have
have no clue which one this is. We will discover it together. the enabler corner where Candy Crusher is. So this bag, I think I've I probably watched a half dozen or more in one setting videos on this bag. And every YouTuber I think that I watched had the exact same color. What? Oh. Okay, so everybody had the same one. And I just didn't want that color. I just gotten ordered the um tiramisu, so I didn't necessarily want another natural one. I didn't want I wanted something a little bit different from the other canvas bags that I have. So when I saw this one. I got with Candy Crusher and I was like, she's got to come home. She, she's got to come home. And this is the Tory Burch. This is the Ella Canvas Quadrant Tote. So it was giving me all kinds of like Dempsey, Field Tote, uh, Kate Spade Market Tote vibes. And the fact that it has leather under the bottom so that I didn't have to worry about the canvas sagging, I absolutely fell in love. This color, um, is Brunera. And, check this out. Unlike the other Ella's, they all have an emblem on the front, but check out the fact that this one has a pocket on the outside. So if you were okay with your phone sticking out, it would work. But if you wanted to stick something like a card case or your mask or um, maybe um, something kind of flat and soft that wouldn't necessarily distort the emblem, I absolutely love it. Now, I've probably missed my window for carrying this bag this year because of the change. And um, y'all know I do try to um, give my bags a dedicated season because if not, I'll end up carrying the same bags over and over again. I'd be in the same colors potentially over and over again if I didn't say, okay, I'm putting those bags away and now I'm going to carry a different color scheme, color palette, different bags that for me feel more seasonally correct for me. So this one will absolutely wait until the spring to carry it but this bluish gray is very denim friendly it is pretty neutral so just like a red bag or just like a cream bag I would be able to wear this one I love that the quadrant continues onto the side and that if I want I can expand and use her um, at her full width the quadrant continues on the back. And again, snap for a more tailored look. You heard that hardware? Listen to that. Sometimes you only hear that on coach bags. Listen. Listen to that. <laughs> that hardware is no joke. All right, no feet under the bottom. But again, I got the leather to help support and structure. You've got some extra seaming and stitch work that's going to help keep my carry from sinking and sagging in the bottom. Let's take a look in the inside. Did you hear that? 
that was the magnet that said, I'm not supposed to be pulled apart. I'm supposed to be together. And it found its way back. So here, look. Coach Hardware don't sound like that with those magnets. All right, let's take a look. And I'm not beating up on Coach tonight. I've got love for all of the brands for some reason or another. That's my story, and I'm sticking with it. Let me get this. Okay. Two hand open. That magnet has found its way shut again. All right, let's take a look at this one. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. I need to compare this to the Dempsey 40 or the Field um, Cho, Field 40 from Coach. I saw a lady out today, and she was carrying her, it was a Dempsey, as a handbag, and it was so polished and put together. And when I saw her, I was like, that bag is really not too big as a handbag. I mean, after all, think about what I've been carrying all week. So it would absolutely work. It's got the, heard that magnet again. So it's got the little T-stitches here. Again, the pocket on the front with the same inverted logo. And then on the inside, it has yet another zipper pocket on the back. And it's a nice size pocket. It goes down here. That's, see my finger right there? That's the bottom of the pocket. So it's a pretty generous pocket. And then on the front, there is a slip pocket. And again, you can see how far down the pocket goes. So I could easily get two phones in there if I needed to. And that's where they will likely reside. All right. And the shoulder drop. So there we have it. Oh, that feels good. It's in a good place on my hip. I didn't have to thread it up my arm. The hardware finds itself. That snap, I think even weighed it down. I feel like, look at that hardware. Though that's some serious hardware. That's not a little magnet, little touch and snap. You have to force that back together. This textile, military mom is rubbing off on me. I'm getting a thing about these textures. Do you see that? That's some good, sturdy canvas. That's not the flimsy, light stuff that's gonna, you know, your stuff's not gonna push through and poke through on that. That's a really heavy textile. Y'all heard that magnet again? All right, just so you can kind of see the difference between those two. Yep. All right, the base on this one is not flat. You can see it's kind of rounded. Sometimes that can impact the way that brands measure so whether they measure from here to here as the base or sometimes they will extend a little into the roundness and count it I don't remember what they did with this one but I do know that I picked up last year um, the Kate Spade market tote and it is very similar in size and that one is a great carry the canvas is not on the Kate Spade when the canvas is not as thick as it is on this one. But I'm I'm liking Ella. It makes me wish that I had picked up the one in the canary color as well. Because that one um, would have been like 
another great option for a pop of color. Let's see. What? Oh man. Okay. I thought that maybe they would have been cheap and stopped the quadrant on the sides, but y'all look, look down in there. Uh oh, let me see. Turn it this way. Do y'all see the fact that that quadrant runs straight underneath that pocket? So you're not losing any detail, no support, no leather was spared in making the quadrant and adding that pocket on the front. And then you've got a great snap on this one as well. I wouldn't carry much in that. Maybe a mask, maybe those little Purell hand sanitizer packs so that you don't have to go all the way inside your bag to get stuff. But it's a nice size considering, look at my hand. It's, and that's with my finger right there because of the stitch, I can't get it all the way down, but my finger stops right there. That's a nice size pocket on the outside. I wouldn't carry my phone, but if you need it to drop it someplace really quick to be hands-free, it is there. I think it's more appropriate for, like I said, a card case, your mask, maybe a small hand sanitizer. I, this was a great deal. The private sale, and I don't know whether they are doing it the way Dooney used to do theirs because Previously, Dooney, if you weren't invited to the private sale, like there was no link, you couldn't get in, email address verified. Now they say private sale and I think it's available to everyone. I don't know um, if everyone was able to shop the Tory Burch private sale because you had to enter your email address. And I thought that I previously registered with another email address and when I put that email address in it didn't let me go in when I went back and used a different email address then I was able to gain access so if you missed out on it I'm sorry but I am very pleased I'm wondering now that I'm looking at this it's kind of giving me blue but it's kind of giving me gray is this Tory Burch's version of Slate Candy Crusher? <laughs> Roslyn, could this be the Tory Burch version of Slate? Because it's not true blue, but it's not true gray either. Huh. Now I feel like I need to compare it to something Slate and I don't own anything slate let me let you look at the stitch work because this is a canvas bag so you might you know it would be easy to kind of um cut corners but look at that even amazing stitch work outlining the double t's around the entire circle or pocket however you want to call it and even though it's not attached at the top they still have great stitch work the little T's here, T stitches. Look at these corner stitches. Look at that. Mm. I am pleased, very pleased. I get to beat up this leather because it doesn't have any scratches and dings in it. It's like a window pane looking into my handbag soul. I love it. So, Shani Cole, Candy Crusher, I hope you ladies enjoy your luxury stay in the Enabler Penthouse this week because between my two new Tory Burch bags, and my mini, 
of Miller sandals that I actually may go and style for work tomorrow. Anyway, um, thank you so very much. I appreciate it. It's always fun um, to shop with you ladies. And I know we only get one official National Handbag Day, but really in this community, every day is National Handbag Day because there is not a day that there isn't a video, a post, a text message, a heads up, a handbag question that this community does not engage in. So we have truly created a community that is 365 handbag mania. So if you have not switched bags lately, I would encourage you to do one of two things. Either switch into something that you bought at the fall of the year, right? Didn't mean that you plan to carry it. It's still warm in most parts of the country, at least semi. Um, pull something out and carry it if you have not switched bags lately. And as another option, if you have a pink bag, yep, I'm endorsing pink because I am, I'm on the bandwagon this year. If you have not um, moved into a pink bag, then um, consider joining the handbag community in support of breast cancer awareness. And, and, if you have not scheduled your mammogram for this year, I would encourage you to do so. And if you are um, a handbag tribe sister under the age of 40, if you have not yet had a mammogram, particularly if you are in your 30s, I would encourage you to call your insurance provider and ask them if you are eligible for a baseline mammogram. I did a baseline mammogram in my mid-30s and didn't think anything else about it because it was so uncomfortable. Um, but what I will tell you is that it was really scary. And the reason is I did my mammogram that year, the Thursday before Good Friday. And the Friday, Good Friday, it's never good when they call you back. I got a call and they found some abnormalities in my mammogram. This was my baseline mammogram. Freaked me out. I'm, you know, I'm traveling that weekend. They called me on a Friday. I'm literally ready to come back in. They don't have any appointments. They're closing early. They said they could get me in on Monday. And it was the absolute longest weekend ever. I went back in for a second mammogram and everything came back clear. But I'm so very thankful that I had a baseline um, because now when I go in annually for my mammogram, they know what kind of like pre-risk looks like because thank God I don't have a history of breast cancer on either maternal or paternal sides of my family. So I've been um, blessed, you know, genetically to not um, have a family history of it. Um, but it only takes one person to have it in order for there to be <clears throat> a family history of it. But I'm really thankful that I got my baseline in my 30s. And there was a few years later, <laughs> I celebrated a milestone birthday, went in, and there was no alarm at that point because, again, they had a baseline from when I was in my 30s and when your risk is a little bit less particularly if you do not have a family history of breast cancer. So, <clears throat> Breast Cancer Awareness Month, get your mammogram. I don't care whether you schedule it in the month of October, November, December, or if you were supposed to have it back in April and it got off of your radar screen, go ahead, call, get it scheduled. We cannot take care of other people if we are not healthy ourselves. Get your mammogram done, get a physical, get your blood work checked, 
their pap smear because cervical cancer is real. Thank God I don't have a family history of that either. But there's a reason why when you get on a plane, they tell you to put your oxygen mask on first. If you're panicky, if you're not doing well, you can't think clearly and help those people that are around you. So put yourself first right now, schedule those appointments, and outwardly show your display of supporting breast cancer awareness, whether it's with your accessories, whether it's with a bag, whether it's with a wristband or some other outward support. And please don't miss an opportunity to give to help support um, research and development in the area of breast cancer. So that is it, y'all. I am burning up. I'm about to go get out of this get up. I'm liking this lip though. Hey, Mo, this is one of the lime crumbs. Remember the one that I text you about that drove me to the site? This is it. I am in love and I am going to have to purchase another one. I'm going to have to. I love it. I need another one as a backup. So listen, ladies, please, please, please be sure to hit the thumbs up before you head out. I hope you all have an amazing week. Um, do something to relax. Enjoy be the last few evening hours of sunlight before because before long, it's going to be dark early. It's going to be cold. And we're going to all be um, sitting here talking about what our weather is. Um, but I appreciate you joining. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your national handbag day. And until next time, I do hope you find something that feeds your addiction. Take care, everyone. Have a great week.